Right, I'm just setting up for a night motion lapse. It's minus three, but not much wind, so it's not going to feel colder than minus three, as there's no wind. Moving quite rapidly here, because obviously the batteries won't take off if they get too cold. But that's just come out of house, so it's nice and warm. There's a really busy junction just ahead of me here, and I've been wanting to capture it for some time now at rush hour. Let's just check all these props quickly. SD cards in, everything's checked over, good to go. I'd say it's a good test for low light for pocket three, but there is no light, <laughs> just this, just my headlamp. Right, let's get her up. We're just switching over to the screen recording view, just getting the drone in position now. We've selected the hyperlapse option here. We're just going to select course lock. So just rotate the drone where you want the drone to go. Lock that in. Now rotate the drone back to the subject. We're going to draw a box around the subject. Here we go. Now the drone's locked in position. We're just going to select the red button and now it's going to take a picture every two seconds. Now I'll just speed this up. And then you can see there in the middle of the screen at the bottom, you can highlight that to just extend the length of the hyperlapse. I like to do it around 15 to 20 minutes then you get a nice lengthy time lapse between 10 and 15 seconds. Anything less than that it's just it's just too fast. So these are my two launch pads to do my hyperlapse just in the middle of this field. As you can see the junction straight ahead it's rather busy now with loads of cars so this will make a really good eye flaps, taking a picture of every two seconds for 15 minutes. So I've just got to stand here freezing to death. And the drone's up there. Zoom in on that for you. So it's also testing the low light capabilities, really low light capabilities of the Pocket 3 with that one inch sensor. I'm on 2.7k 30 frames per second. I'm in focus and there's a blurry background even in the pitch black that's pretty cool. So we're three minutes into it at the moment it's just taking a picture every two seconds as you can see that's what I'm looking at. Got the crossroads centre frame so we'll see how this turns out. As you can see that the hyperlapse is going quite smoothly but there's a few little jerks in there which I want to happy about so I opted for a static time lapse again every two seconds. Just in the low light situations, when you're doing a moving hyperlapse there, it can judder a bit if it's not locked onto a subject which it can visibly see. So it's time to bring the drone down now. It's had its 20 minutes doing this, which will equate to around a 15 second hyperlapse, which you've just been seeing. I've cut that down, just got the best bit of that. These lights underneath the Mavic 3 Pro they come on automatically so it can find its target and there we go she's landed so that's the end of this quick video just showing you how to do a hyperlapse with the Mavic 3 Pro again if you like videos like this you find them interesting be sure to subscribe thanks for watching bye for now